Hey YouTube, it's Locked and Loaded, aka Brie, whatever you want to call me. So I'm coming to you to show you the first in a set of styles that I'm going to be trying to do um, when my hair is not retwisted. Uh, just to show you that, you know, there are ways that you can manage your hair even when you are deciding not to retwist. Um, so with this particular style, the first thing I'm going to be doing is flat twisting the front. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be um, sectioning off the front of my hair and yeah so I'm pretty much finished with that and I'm just securing the rest of it out of the way um, you know to the back of my head just so you're not worried about mixing in hair or anything like that and if you want to see a more detailed um, tutorial on like twisting or anything like that please check out my previous video I'll be sure to try to link it in the cards or in the description box so just go ahead and kind of part it off which way you want it and then you're gonna want to section off um, whatever row so with me I usually like to start towards the bottom like closest to my ear um, because those are the ones where you don't really have a lot of leeway if you um, don't pro portion out the hair right or anything like that. So, um, yes, the worst sneeze in the world. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as you can see, it's not quite even, but I was trying to go for an angle. I did come to regret this later. Honestly, I just say make it as straight of a line as possible. Okay, so now I am actually moisturizing my hair before I'm getting started. My hair is pretty damp already so there I just sprayed a little bit of that lemongrass leave-in conditioner um, I'm putting my mixture of oils to kind of seal all that in and on top I'm going to add a styler which you'll see just in a second it's that kinky curly styler I show you in my other videos and like I said uh, I have a video already um, showing you these products and that kind of thing so feel free to check that out and right now I'm just moisturizing the hair, rubbing that all in. And guys, take a look at how much loose natural hair. Like I'm, I literally have like an afro at the roots, but whatever. That's, you know, info for a different day. But yeah, usually you want to go ahead and kind of just pull the, the locks apart like I just did, just to make sure that there's no hair marrying at the roots. And um, it decreases the likelihood of having a bunch of uh, tangled hair once you take these down. So... So yeah, so once again, just gonna go ahead and start my first flat twist and start adding in that hair. I really, really like flat twists when it comes to trying to manage your hair when um, you're not retwisting, just because it kind of dresses up the front, but doesn't really require too much. And it may look like that I'm doing this kind of tight, but um, the key thing is to do it a little tight because as soon as you, you know, put the rubber band on and release it, it's normally going to loosen a little bit, um, which you'll be able to tell, you know, but honestly, if, you know, even with me doing it this way, it wasn't tight to the point where it hurt or anything like that, but, you know, just know that it will loosen up, um, after you put your rubber band on and you kind of release the hair. Now I could have chosen just to go ahead and go all the way down to the ends, but that just really wasn't the look I was going for this time, so... Okay, so um, after that, you know, I'm just kind of expediting this process, just showing you I'm just going through, continuing to, you know, moisturize the hair before I twist. And that's the key thing with any style that you're going to do, um, especially if you're looking for more of a protective style, you want to make sure that your hair is thoroughly moisturized because if your hair is dry and you put it in a protective style, that kind of defeats the purpose um, because it's not keeping anything in there. Um, and also it just creates a little bit of stress on your hair. Um, anything you do to your hair while it's dry is just going to be problematic long term. So just keep that in mind. Alright, and as you can see at this point I finished the one side and they're all kind of going sort of in an angle towards that side of my head and I'm just trying to measure out now how I want the other side to look. So I kind of just wanted them to go sort of opposite ways um, on my head to create a little decoration at the front if you know what I'm saying um, and yeah so now you see me starting the hair on the opposite side uh, and you know the, that's another thing I love about flat twists it really cuts down on um, styling time because you're taking care of the front half and you can do whatever to the back half that you choose not to mention that they really just don't take a long time to do in themselves, you know, especially on locks. It's not like you're having to do a ton of detangling or anything. 
um, with me, I wasn't even retwisting. So it was just a really quick process. So, you know, that's kind of the plan. Um, and actually, oh, never mind. Whoops. Looks like I was actually done um, with um, all of them. I thought that was like me starting it. Oopsie. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm pretty much done with all of the flat twist. Um, and you can see right there that my hair actually looks pretty good even just like that. I could choose to leave the back straight, but instead uh, my plan was to actually two strand twist the back just to create more of a protective style. Um, so right there, I'm just kind of giving you a better look at what it looks like in the front, but so yes. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and section off the hair just because that's the key to doing anything, especially if you have thick hair like mine, you want to go ahead and put the hair into sections when you're two strand twisting it. For me, I put the locks up for, that are connected to those flat twists in their own section, just because I wanna make sure that I do those the right way. And um, I always start from the very back of my head. That's just my preference. But um, because like I said, you, it's best to start near the edges because you have less leeway if you don't portion out enough hair. So. So I'm gonna do that and come on back. All right, so this is the final look. Um, as you can see, I have kind of large twist. I used uh, four twists per section, uh, just because I really wasn't trying to spend a lot of time on this. Um, you know, and I just needed something to give it a little bit of definition while I left those, you know, while I left it in. Um, maybe in a couple days, I'll actually uh, take down the twists themselves. Um, just to have the back wavy and the front still kind of cleaned up and nice. So just giving you a little 360 shot. Sorry about the camera quality, guys. It's definitely something I'm going to be trying to work on around tax time. <laughs> but yes, I was very pleased. Uh, it really did not take a whole lot of time either. The entire process from wash to completed style was um, probably like an hour and 45 minutes, maybe two hours max if you count just me letting my hair air dry just a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, so... I'm going ahead right now and just pulling up the top half of my hair and this was primarily um you know how i wore how i wore this you know i don't it's still kind of in but whatever right now but that's kind of how i wore this style um i did this on super bowl sunday right before we had to leave just to do something with my hair and i kept the whole all the twists in for like two days and then after the two day mark on tuesday i took out the um the back half the regular two strand twist were those free and then come Friday I took down the front half of the flat twist and all the hair was really curly and now I just have like a bunch of wavy hair that I'm trying to figure out what to do about <laughs> but um, it's a great way to just keep your hair kind of occupied um, pretty much the style just kind of took me through the week but you know I really appreciate you guys c continually supporting me and um, also I was gonna say um, Please, please, please feel free to comment um, different requests and what you would like to see and what you would like to know. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. Oh, not to mention to go ahead if you have not already and subscribe. And um, yes, you know, look below in the description box for anything and have a great one, guys. All right. Bye.